Hey Tubes, I get a lot of questions, I get about a question or two a week about the jukebox. They all want to see the jukebox uh, run and stuff, but I can't really play it because of uh, YouTube's uh, laws and stuff, you know, the copyright laws and everything they don't want you to mess with, but uh, I figured I'd show this to you again. But I wanted to show you this this product that I picked up. Uh, where, where's it at, Bill? It's over here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. We'll give you a better view of it. It's called Get Some. Get some 1000. It's like a lubricant, but it's uh, safe to use in the house and around the pets and the kitties and everything like that, you know. But it actually uh, works pretty good. Open that, open that jukebox up for me, buddy. Let me show these guys what I'm, I'd have to deal with here. I, I, I fixed, I, I picked that up because uh, I wanted to find something that wasn't going to smell. And that's good. Pull the, pull the title strip away. Uh, take it out, put it down on the ground. I want to show these guys how many con how many connections and moving parts this thing has. This thing has a couple thousand moving parts in it. Just in the front here, this little this little section here. Oh yeah, buddy, over here. You got all these uh, got all these things. Yeah, you got, got, you got solenoids. solenoids there and uh, the bars. moving parts. Okay, push that little thing. Look at all that. Yeah, you got that. And then the solenoid, push that in. But you you can't get oil on that stuff. And even a contact. Can you see the contact, buddy? Yeah, a little contact right there. Yeah. So you can't you can't spray it. And what's nice about this thing, I got it because it has a pinpoint. You can actually uh, put the stuff in there. And I didn't want some of that smell either. Sometimes you, you get some of them uh, penetrants and they they, they stink yeah. like hell. Like the, the whole house smells like them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like uh, coil and stuff. Three and one. Yeah. Forget about it. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm not, and even up front here, all these, all these numbers and everything, everything pushes in. Everything's got to be lubricated. These things are a nightmare, a maintenance nightmare. And this, uh, this little cover, I'm not going to take the cover off, but under there is where the, the record player moves, and all this stuff in here spins, and that's all got to be lubricated. And that's got about two, three hundred moving parts and contacts, electrical contacts. And then underneath, there's there's, there's another thousand. So I, I wanted to find something that would work and it wouldn't dry out and wouldn't collect dirt, you know. A lot of oils collect dirt. But uh, let me go out in the garage and uh, what do you got there? What, what else does it do? It's, it's, it does uh, all kinds of stuff. We printed this stuff out. Yeah. It, uh, well, they say it doesn't have any silicone or, or kerosene, so that, that, that makes it safe to use on the electronics and stuff. Uh, it's not going to wash off and uh, non-conductive, non-corrosive. So, especially the non-conductive, that's good for the uh, the electronics. You, but you can use it on your your uh, your cars, anything the the fitting, electrical fittings, lights. Uh, matter of fact, actually, you can use it to to polish up everything. You can polish your dash and your your headlights with it. You know, when you get those uh, bugs stuck on there from from driving on the summer summer nights, you use that to polish them off. All kinds of stuff, doors and locks. Body shops, uh, they got all kinds of stuff here. Just yeah, you know what? Everything. You, well, uh, we'll leave a, a, a website there. You guys get to yeah. check it out. I pick it up on uh, Amazon. They sell it on Amazon, and it's uh, com comparable to all the other uh, penetrants out there. But uh, I, I, I really like this. You know, you, you read it and you think it's all some kind of snake oil, but it, it actually works. So let me go in the garage and we'll uh, maybe we'll compare it to some other stuff. All right. Some of the lubricants I've tried. I've tried just about everything out there on the market, and you can get rid of this because this this isn't really comparable. This is a, a water dispersant, you know. So I mean, it works. It you know on, on light rust and stuff like that, it works. But same with liquid branch. This is more or less a you know just for uh, lubricating and stuff like that. But these these two here, you know, they're they're sort of high dollar stuff, but they really work. And this stuff here is is comparable to that. I only have a two ounce bottle here, but you can uh, you can actually get uh, what does it say there? Five ounce bottle, eleven ounce, uh, even yeah. even one of five gallons. You can get a big bucket of that. Yeah, and it's made in the United States, but it's, it's comparable and it works just as good as the the, the high dollar stuff. So next thing I do is uh, for the garage, give me some uh, some spray can of it just for the garage. But but anyway, the stuff really works. And uh, let's see if I can get there's their their website. But like I say, I'm gonna leave a link to Amazon and also there, and uh, you can check the stuff out yourself. You know, if it wasn't that good, I wouldn't say it. All right.
Not for this. What do you say, buddy? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. We'll see you.